everyone, so today I wanted to film a CrossFit slash gym clothing haul. Um, it's labeled CrossFit and gym because I do do CrossFit to work out, but it's not only limited to CrossFit. Um, this gear can be used for any workout that you're doing. I just personally do CrossFit and I love it. Um, so yeah, uh, just kind of a quick brief, um, try and <laughs> I will try to make it as brief as possible. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of changing to my channel. Um, I don't feel my channel really reflects who I am as a person anymore. Um, I feel like it did when I was in college, um, but now that I'm out of college, it's not. That's the reason I feel like I haven't had a lot of videos up is that the content isn't stuff that I feel is comes natural and is a part of my daily life. So um, if some people are really upset by that, I apologize. Um, if you unsubscribe, that's totally fine. Um, I do this as an outlet to kind of get my creativity out and to just kind of use it as um, almost like a counseling session I guess you could say just to kind of talk to the camera and um, things of that nature but I'm going to be doing more of fitness health oriented I will still have beauty and DIYs because those are two things that I love but they won't be as regular as they were um, I feel like by changing this into more of a fitness uh, style uh, YouTube that it will encourage me to work out more and to you know continue towards my fitness goals um, because CrossFit is something that I absolutely love and I think it's amazing and I think everybody can do it um, and I know some people disagree with me on that and that's totally fine but that's what I'm going to be basing this more off of so enough talking because I know that's way longer than I wanted it to be uh, but let's just get into the haul. I'm going to start off with shoes because shoes are my favorite. Um, and this, by the way, is like a collective haul of just all of my gym stuff. Um, I just thought I'd share with you guys what I like to wear to the gym and what I use. So uh, as far as shoes go, I will show you almost all of the shoes that I have for CrossFit. So the first pair are an old, my very first pair of Nanos. These are, I think the Nano 2, Nano 3, I'm not too sure. I don't wear these anymore, um, but these were the very first pair of Nanos that I got. And they're really good if you're starting out because they're super cheap from Reebok, um, especially if you get them on sale. I think you can get them for like probably 30 or 40 bucks. So definitely if you're first time to CrossFit or you need a solid shoe for like lifting and things of that nature, these are great. So the next shoe is also a Nano. I think these are the Nano 5s. Um, I like to use these when we're doing anything that involves any type of running because I hate running. Um, and I find that any other type of CrossFit shoe I wear for running um, hurts my shins really bad. So these, I don't even notice when I'm running in these. So I really like these. These are like a, a good all around shoe. Like I said, these are newer. So these are a little more on the expensive side. Then I have my Noble by Brooke Entz shoes. These are in the fluorescent orange. Um, and I really like these these are more of kind of like a street style shoe um, just super basic I don't find myself wearing these as much as I do my nanos or my um, Metcons but I really like these and I love Burke Entz and these are definitely the cheapest uh, CrossFit shoe that you will find on the market then I have my all-time favorite shoe, which are my Nike Metcons. These are actually aren't called Metcons. They're called something else because of the colorway, um, but they're basically a Metcon. I love these. I'm probably the most obsessed with these just because of the colorway. They're super comfortable. I love the gum wall bottom. Um, but yeah, just a good overall shoe. I find myself wearing these the most out of any of my other shoes. Moving on to the type of sports bras I like to wear. Um, I just have some just random, I really am not super picky about sports bras. I have this Nike one that I've had forever. Um, I got it on clearance when I used to work for Nike. Um, these are great, just super basic. I have two different types from Target. As you guys know, I work at Target. Um, and these are really, really great sports bras. They're comparable to the Nike one that I just showed you, but they're significantly cheaper. I believe these are like $14. Um, so if you're just starting out or you're on a budget and you don't have a whole lot of money to spend on workout gear, I definitely recommend looking at Target. Target recently came out with a whole bunch of new um, styles of sports bras. So these are a little fancier with a crisscross back. And this one I actually got on clearance at Target for $9.98. It was actually cheaper than that. I think it was like five bucks. So definitely check out Target for cheap workout gear because it's good quality and you're not going to break the bank buying um, a bunch of sports bras. 
Um, I will link everything that I've shown in this video down below. So if you guys want to look at anything, every single thing I show in this video, I will make sure to list down below. Um, but this is my favorite sports bra from them at the moment. Um, I don't remember the exact name. Like I said, I will list it down below, but it's got the crisscross back and it's just super comfortable. You don't feel like you're wearing anything um, as coming from someone that has rather large boobs. <laughs> um, but these are just really good quality. Everything by Athleta is really good quality and it's good for girls that are bigger. Moving on to bottoms, the only bottoms that I will wear are Athleta bottoms. Um, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. They don't know that I'm making this video, nor do they care. It's just my genuine opinion of all the stuff that I like to work out in and what works for me. Being a bigger girl that has big butt and big boobs, this is the stuff that works for me that I can feel confident in when I'm doing heavy lifting or when I'm working out. Um, so these are just a pair, just a random pair. Um, of Athleta Bottoms. Like I said, I'll link everything below. These go with past your calf, which are my favorite type of bottom. Um, I like the ones that go to the base of my calf um, more than any other style. So these are just a really pretty like purpley color, burgundy. Then I have these, which are just the Capri um, and they kind of have kind of an interesting pattern on them and they have like a um, a paneling in the back that lets the back of your knee breathe. Um, I've had these for about a year now and they are still like I just bought them yesterday. Great, amazing quality. Um, like I said, Athleta makes some amazing stuff and it's the same price range as Lululemon, but I, I like this way better than Lululemon. The reason that I love Athleta so much is because, like I said, I do have a bigger like figure. Um, I can do squats in these, I can um, run, I can do anything. They're not gonna fall down. They're not going to show my butt off to the entire world. Um, and that's definitely like the biggest thing. I can't wear Nike pants because every time you bend over, you see everything. I can't wear Lululemon because they fall down after I take two steps. Um, so Athleta has definitely been the number one company for me to um, find pants that actually work for me. So if you kind of feel you're struggling with that as well, definitely check out check out Athleta because their stuff's amazing. My battery's about to die and I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna try to go through these really fast, but the last thing I have to talk about are shirts. I like things with graphic prints because I think it's fun, but that's just me personally. I feel like sometimes it's really hard to find cute, lifting graphic tees. So these are some of my favorites. <laughs> um, first, this one is Lift Like a Babe. Um, like I said, I'll link everything down below. I got this off of Poshmark on sale. So this is a colorway that they don't make anymore, but I will list, list the Poshmark that I got it from down below. So if you guys are interested in getting this print, I think they do still have some left, but this is just a tank top and it's really comfortable. Then for all the Star Wars fans out there, you will appreciate this shirt as much as I do. Um, it is this Death Rebel, Death Rebel Club is the brand name um, and it's Death Rebel Hunting Club and it has, I'm not super into Star Wars, so I don't really know what that is. I think it's a dro drone, droid? Clone? Tell me in the comments below because I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I have this one and then a different print, which I'm wearing right now. This one. Um, but these are super comfortable. I like to work out in these. They're super soft. Um, and yeah, I'll link everything down below. A good place, again, to get tank tops for working out if you don't want to spend a ton of money um, that have really cute sayings, again, is Target. So I got this one that says, today's workout is sponsored by coffee, um, which is so true for me. Uh, but like I said, Target has really good workout stuff for super cheap. So if you're on a budget, um, the shirts that I've been showing, they're not super cheap. So Target is definitely your best bet if you just need something um, that's going to get you through the workout and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on it. Um, I feel when I'm not working, I live in my workout clothes, so that's why I don't have a problem spending a lot of money on them. And then of course I got to shout out my gym, so I have a CrossFit Napa Valley uh, gym shirt. It's a tank top. This is the gym that I go to. It's my personal box is what um, they call it. It's a CrossFit box. If you go to a CrossFit, I definitely recommend getting the shirts that they sell there. Not only are you supporting your gym, um, but you can rep your shirt if you go to other boxes. And then probably one of my all-time favorite shirts is this one right here, which is by Wags and Weights. Um, it's Dogs and Fitness and Coffee and Donuts, which is literally my life. Um, it is a baseball tee. I don't wear this to work out in. I just wear it because dogs are life. <laughs> um, and I really love this company and what they stand for. Um, but 
again it's just super comfortable super soft like I said I live in workout clothes when I'm not at work so I love this and then the very last company that I have to talk about is called project X and they have amazing stuff because they're the coolest coolest CrossFit t-shirt designs that I have ever come across. I have this one and it says regrets, but it's obviously spelled wrong. And then it has a skeleton hand holding a dumbbell. Um, I just think these are really cute. It's got this cute little, their little Project X logo, but instead it's got a crutch and a barbell. Um, it is a muscle style tank. These are super soft, super comfortable. And the company is just amazing. This company is like, Every time I place an order, they write a cute little note and they give me a bunch of free stickers. Sometimes they have promotions where they send in a free t-shirt with the order that you're purchasing if you're purchasing this shirt on the release day. Um, so it's just a great company. They're, everybody that works there is just so positive and really nice. Um, and they're based out of California. So I think that's really cool too. This is just another one. It's Bulldogs and Barbells and it's a little Frenchie. Um, and this is actually one of the owner's dogs. I think his name is Jackpot. I'm talking really fast. Um, but yeah, and then this is their actual logo, Project X. So like I said, I'm gonna link everything down below so you guys can go look it all up. I know this video was way too long and I apologize about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited about the new changes that I have or if there's anything you wanna request to see, just let me know. I am going to Reno this weekend to a g -Eazy concert and I'm gonna be visiting a bunch of CrossFit gyms in the area. So I'm hoping to kind of, if I don't get too nervous, to film um, a little bit while I'm there and then kind of post that on here because it's something that I feel really passionate about. So if you're excited for that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.